We're really excited today because we're going to talk about hydration. And a lot of people who are on the health journey, they kind of forget about this important area of being health. It's very foundational and sometimes it gets overlooked. A lot of times people just think that water is water is water. However, a couple of years ago, we were introduced to a really smart doctor who put us on to some really good research about hydration and the differences between all the different waters out there. So mm -hmm. today, we're just going to pass that information along to you. And we have a really fun visual for you to experience this education firsthand. And I promise you, the next time that you go to the gas station or the grocery store and you're like, what kind of water should we get? You will remember this video and you will remember the healthy homegirls at gmail.com because you're going to say, where do I get that living water again? So with that being said, let's start by talking about pH because this one is very visual and people get this one right away. So Hannah, do you want to explain the pH chart and how our bodies and our diets kind of interact on this? Yeah, so here's a review of what the pH chart looks like in case you need to refresh your memory. Seven is neutral. Everything over here is acidic and everything over here is alkaline. And the whole Western diet, the standard American diet, is pretty much all acidic, all the sugar, all the dairy, dairy processed foods, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're bombarded with a lot of acidic things in our diet. Mm -hmm. Stress will contribute to our body's acidity as well. The things over here that are alkaline are things like vegetables and minerals, um, which we're not getting enough of. And so our bodies were designed um, pretty amazing with with keep this in mind now our blood ph has to stay between 7.3 and 7.4 mm -hmm. so slightly alkaline um if it moves like you die dead. <laughs> yeah so it, it it doesn't ever change and what happens is when we have a lot of acidity going on in our lifestyles and our diets what this now this is a cool mechanism that we have this so we don't die but we don't want to take advantage of this and abuse this but what happens is is you got a lot of acidity going on your body will steal magnesium from your muscles mm. and calcium from your bones to wow. buffer all that acidity so while that's cool it's actually not cool because our muscles need their magnesium yeah. and our our bones need their calcium so that's why we're excited that what we're about to show you is these waters and the type of water that we drink and have been drinking for uh, about two years now. We're so excited about it. why it's an easy way to introduce more alkalinity to your bodies. Um, so we're Let's gonna, show them. Yeah. So Let's we're show. In. We have some pH indicator fluid drops that we're going to use so you can see the pHs of these beverages. So first we're going to start with Aquafina. And this was the bottled water I had been drinking um, prior to learning this information. And so when I saw this for the first time, I thought, oh, not so bad. It's only, it's about a 5.0. It's like two points away from neutral seven. You know, it's better than a three. But the doctor that was showing this to us was like, no, no, no. Um, mm -hmm. That's actually extremely, it's, you know, acidic because how this works is six is 10 times more acidic than seven. Mm -hmm. Five is a hundred times. It's a hundred times more acidic than seven. Three is a thousand times, or sorry, four is a thousand times. Three is 10,000 times more acidic than neutral. So like, doesn't mean just like two points away. It was like significant jump. So I see that. I'm like, eh, okay, I get it. Next up we have smart water, which here you want to unleash that. And all right, let's see where we are at here. So it's probably about a 5.5. I could probably add some more drops. We're out of drops, but this is, it's still acidic. And here's the thing about acidity is if you're trying to be healthy, if you're trying to heal your body, if you're dealing with any sort of illness or sickness, or you're just trying to maintain your health, acidity does not do you any favors, okay? Um, people that, well, if you study cancer, you can go look up on PubMed, you can look at the research yourself. Cancer loves acidity. It lives in acidity. It cannot live in an alkaline environment. So this stuff is really important. It's very relevant. 
because now we know that the cancer numbers are just like skyrocketing and it, it is connected to your diet and to your food and some of it's hereditary, but you also want to just pay attention to your environment and what kind of toxins you're introducing to your body. So exactly. next up, this will be good. This is the Gatorade, right? My favorite of soccer moms. <laughs> yeah, so this represents Propel, Vitamin Water, Powerade, and um, a lot of people reach for this or they give it to their kids thinking it's a little bit healthier than like juice or soda. Um, and there, there's still quite a bit of sugar in here, but um, and sometimes they think, oh, there's no food coloring in it. So, you know, it's healthy, right? Like this is what all the athletes drink, right? Well, this actually is so acidic. It's sapping our energy when we drink it. It's not contributing to our health at all. Not a health beverage. Mm -mm. Definitely a treat. Yeah. And treats, you know, <laughs> every once in a while. We like treats too, but yeah. um, it's if important you're gonna to have facts. If you're gonna have some acidic beverage, you're you should try you know try to balance and understand that you had some acidity. Now you need something alkaline, so like maybe a big salad or some broccoli or you know minerals. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna show you another way to alkalize that. I think is a little bit easier than eating a bagel salad if you don't feel like it. But this will be good. I used to drink Lacroix. Coconut Lacroix. And actually, Hannah, this is embarrassing, but I don't I don't like the flavor of plain water, so I would drink Lacroix thinking that that was like my hydration. You know, I'd be drinking like four or five of these a day. Oh. And then I learned that it's not so good. I mean, just from the acidity standpoint for like your teeth, like you don't want acidic yeah. things uh, in your mouth like that because you're gonna wear down the enamel. And federally, the water from your tap, it's federally mandated to be about neutral. Any guesses as to why? So the pipes don't get corroded and rust. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when it comes to your body, you don't want acidic things running through it. Um, you, you should have alkaline. So here, this is going to be kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, so here we got some 7-Up. Represents all types of sodas. This is just clear here so we can see. And, yeah, no surprise. Yeah, Pops In addition to all the sugar, yeah, it's terrible. Yep. So now, finally, we're going to show you what we drink. Um, we're going to make some living water fresh from our machine right here. We have it set to 9.5. You can set it up to 10.0, which is actually really good for detox. And Hannah will talk about that later. Mm -hmm. um, but I love this machine. I got it when I was pregnant, uh, just found out I was pregnant two years ago. And I swear, I had amazing energy once I started being properly hydrated. It is the finest energy drink on the planet. It is. And sometimes people wonder, why is it cloudy? Like, you can see that cloudiness in there. That's good. That cloudiness represents molecular hydrogen and its antioxidant properties, which we're going to talk about next. But check that out. I mean, that's some, that's some good purple water right there. And that can actually buffer acidity. Hannah, do you want to pour a little bit of that into one of these to show how it buffers sure yeah this is really cool so if you had that you know glass of wine or a twinkie or whatever you can alkalize with water mm -hmm. and just adding that to your diet is going to help you know bring that to that range where you want to be which is about neutral so next up we're gonna I want to bring up one thing okay. real quick here so you guys might have started to see alkaline bottled water at the grocery store and I'm even seeing it at the gas stations now. This is Essentia. Um, I'm guilty for... I used to buy this all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, it's, and it is more expensive than mm -hmm. you know stuff like Aquafina. So what's interesting is that, where's the pH chart? Um, you can make any color happen on this pH chart with chemicals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just think of like your pool or your hot tub. You just add chemicals. And the thing that they do to make your tap water neutral is they add lye. So What's they can lye? raise the pH. It's like ash. That's what lye is. So you can take a cigarette and tap it into some acidic water and raise the pH. So it's... We yeah. like to ask, okay, all right, if we test this, it's going to be alkaline. But yeah, we like to purple. know how. More often than not, these alkaline bottled waters are... Uh, chemically induced alkalinity. What I love about living water is that this technology uses processes that mirror nature mm -hmm. to restore water to how it was intended to be um, mm -hmm. using electrolysis and some really cool advanced science. So yes. uh, 
Just save your money. Yes. That's what I have to say about and that. Just, you know, sometimes people are like, well, why should I believe you guys and whatever. We have some really amazing letters. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah. From Muscle Farm. They love our living waters. They could drink anything that they want, but they wrote us a letter saying, I want to let you know how thrilled we are with our living water units. You know, they're ordering multiple um, units. The Kansas City Royals, they love our technology. They love our water. That's what their athletes drink. They say they get better recovery time. Their joints are feeling better. Flushing the lactic acid out. It's amazing. You know, we get letters from a lot of big companies that love our technology. Mm -hmm. And really when you're a professional athlete, like you have people that are paid big, big money to make sure that those athletes are getting the very best out there. So I think these letters say a lot, you know, they could have choose any, chosen any type of um, alkaline water machine out there. Cause there's other ones out there, you know, varying prices and, and benefits, but these big, big um, organizations and sports franchises are choosing our company and living water, which is really, really cool. Really exciting. Yeah. So next we're going to talk about molecular hydrogen. Molecular hydrogen is the best antioxidant that your body can have. It's naturally produced in your body and there are therapeutic uses and applications for molecular hydrogen. Now why it's such a big deal is because it's a smart antioxidant. You can actually have too many antioxidants in your body if you're putting the wrong kinds in your body and those will actually turn into free radicals. So People need to just understand that an antioxidant is not, you know, they're not all created equally. Mm -hmm. Molecular hydrogen is smart and it actually is, it's a free radical scavenger and it is selectively destroying the bad free radicals. Reactive oxygen species, ROS. Yes. Bad. Bad. Do they cause damage? Like they, that's what causes yeah. decline in illness is and illness is totally connected to, you know, free radical in your body. Oxidative stress. Oh yeah. So we want to drink water that is antioxidant, smart antioxidant, as opposed to drinking oxidizing water. So um, we're going to show you with a meter. We're going to, oh, you already filled up. Okay, so this is um, smart water, and we're going to show you what this is with an ORP meter. Um, an ORP meter measures the electrons in the water and just see, going to show you if it's an antioxidant or an two, oxidant. Two positive, 247, 248. So, you know, these numbers can fluctuate depending on how long it's been bottled and sitting on the shelf. The long, It's dead water. That's what the meter is saying. If it's a positive number, it's dead water. That is sucking the energy out of your body. So obviously this is why Olympic athletes like Jamie Anderson, gold medal earner, she carry, she actually travels with her living water machine. Mm -hmm. She might wear a monster hat, but she drinks living water for energy. I can guarantee you that. Um, so I'm going to show you, Hannah's going to put the meter in the living water that we just poured and I'm going to show you the scale. So living water is going to be negative anti, or I'm sorry, negative ORP score. So negative, happy face. And over on the other side, bottled water, tap water, pop, Gatorade, anything that's bottled is going to be um, an, a positive ORP number. So, you know, it's important to understand that if you want actual antioxidants, you cannot bottle them. Um, you know, if you make this living water to last, the, the properties of antioxidants will last for about 24 or maybe up to 48 hours. I'll show you something real quick. Um, <laughs> this water, oh my gosh, it says it's antioxidant water, but when we test it with a meter, it is oxidizing. So if you're confused about what oxidation means, just think of taking a handful of nails and putting it into a glass of water, whether it's Aquafina tap water, um, this water, you know, antioxidant water here, it's going to rust. So oxidation is rust. It's aging. This is very, very bad for your cells. Antioxidant water is, if you put the handful of nails in our living water, they will not rust because it's anti-oxidizing water. So think of your cells. I mean, Hannah, a lot of people call our water beauty water because mm -hmm. it preserves your uh, your health, your youth, your cells. Anti-aging from the inside out. Yeah, where it's really most important. So, um, you know, here you can see this is crawling up or it's negative it's going in that direction but you know we'll see numbers on this up to negative two to five hundred um you know we just don't have time to let it sit there all day so when you're drinking living water 
not that's not only alkaline but it has that antioxidant impact like the water it's such a significant difference than anything else you're drinking yeah. and it's such a cool way to um you're already drinking water or, or if you're not you should be and this is just such an easy way to make a switch and to have such a huge impact and contribution to your health without like doing anything crazy. Yeah, you don't have to go gluten free. Yeah, you don't have to go vegan. Like <laughs> just drink the right water. Um, let's do one more demo. We're gonna do the tea bag demo. And um, Hannah, do you wanna pour? Sure. Um, so we have some Aquafina. Aquafina on the right. And the living water on my left. So Hannah's going to show you a tea bag demonstration. And all I want to say about this is the tea bags really represent your cells. So your cells need hydration. Intracellular hydration is very important. Mm -hmm. However, in 2004, Nobel Prize Science taught us, thanks to Peter Auger, that every cell in your body has what's called an aquaporin. And the aquaporin is, it's like, yeah, here's the cell. And it's got a positive charge at like the doorway the to the channel. cell. It's a little channel. I call it a door because it's easy to understand. <laughs> so the door to your cell, if you have negative water, that's going to be sucked into the cell. Mm -hmm. Like you're really getting hydrated because it's like putting a negative and a positive magnet together. But traditional water, bottled water, tap water, that all has a positive charge. So it's really hard for that water to get sucked up into the cell. And it, get all the benefits of that hydration right. can offer. Exactly. So just picture cells with these water. She's going to treat each tea bag about the same. Move them a little closer. Okay. We're moving in. Do you remember which one? The Aquafina. Yeah. The cloudy one. So basically the water is getting in and out of the cell better with the living water, which and makes sense. And tea and coffee taste better brewed with yeah. this water too. Yeah, that's so which true. Which is cool. And if you're someone who takes supplements, keep in mind that, okay, well I'll just tell a story. I had a friend, his name's Jordan. He came over to my house before a workout and he filled, he's like, I got to fill up my water for my pre-workout. He filled it up. I didn't tell him anything about the machine or the water, but he came, he mixed it with his pre pre-workout mix he came back uh, the next day and he said Amy what was in that water I just had the best workout of my life <laughs> and I was like well I, I mean I don't I don't know but do you want more and he started coming over and like filling up water almost every day so cool. um, yeah which is awesome so Hannah's got she's gonna talk about a hot so topic as we were talking about being properly hydrated on the cellular level when you drink the living water it can act it's so efficiently drawn into the the cell so good hydration leads to good detox and what's cool is i know there's a, like a lot of you know detox programs out there and different cleanses you can do and stuff um and you know, there's a lot of hokey ones too. But what I love about drinking living water is it's something I can do every day, all day, and I, sh you know, should be doing it. And what I love is that it's actually getting drawn into the fat cells because the fat cells, um, what happens is that's like where toxins that are from food and from our environments get stored. They go to the fat cells. So here's five pounds of fat just as a visual. And once we have living water flushing through those cells, our body can release just like extra sludge mm -hmm. weighing us down and you know that aren't really contributing to our overall health or our energy either so um some people notice without trying that they might drop some extra weight that mm -hmm. was just kind of weighing them down so as we're drinking this water it's just a really cool thing that we're detoxing our body um through through a mechanism that you know, it's all natural. Like we don't like mix a special drink up. Yeah. Um, and I, and I have, I have so many people who love mixing this water with, you know, like their protein shakes mm -hmm. and taking their supplements with it because it makes everything work better. It's more absorbable. It's so cool how this water can make such a big difference, um, in the way people feel. Yeah, we love it. So we're happy to be affiliated with the company and we stand behind the products. The only way you can get a living water technology for your own home is through an independent supplier. So if you need to be introduced to an independent supplier, we can definitely introduce you to someone in your area. You can email us at thehealthyhomegirls at gmail.com and we will we'll hook you up with someone and get you, get you rocking and rolling. 
But thanks for joining us for this video. Check out our other videos if you want to learn about how you can detox your home and eliminate pathogens and other icky, toxic things from your home or your office or wherever. All right, see you guys.